Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my new 55 gallon river themed aquarium. Uh, I've been setting up a bunch of stuff lately and expanding my fish room and my hobby in general. And today, yeah, so I've been working on this fish tank behind the scenes. I actually haven't made a video setting it up because they take so long to make and they don't even get that many views. And I'm not in this for the views, it's just not worth my time if you guys aren't going to enjoy the videos as much as I enjoy making them. So today, I have finished the construction of my first tank and I'm super proud with how it's turned out. It's currently cycling at the moment. Now it's a 55 gallon aquarium. It's, I bought it new, it's only got an LED light that I got really cheap off of eBay and it's only got sponge filters because I don't think it needs that much filtration. So without any further ado, let me show you guys the aquarium and have a chat about it. And as well this video, I'm gonna show you guys all my other aquariums and uh, you can see those. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Without any further ado, let's go have a look at this. So this is my new 55 gallon river themed aquarium. So in here we have obviously a bunch of gold vine driftwood on each sides to try and bring everything into the middle. And then we've also got this little focus point here in the aquarium where we're gonna hopefully have some quarry cats and stuff swimming around and making this as entertaining as possible. But this is a planted aquarium. I haven't dirted it. I haven't added any um, like fertilizers to it. This is as simple as it can get guys. So basically in this aquarium, I only have plants that are super easy to grow, low light plants that look absolutely stunning. So at the front I have like all this Anubias that I've glued down to the driftwood as you can see here. I'll try and focus this a little bit better. So there's a bunch of Anubias and I've got these little baby cuts from this tank over here and I've like cut them off and stuck them down. So I've got really small little guys that are gonna take quite a while to get um, bigger and develop roots, but that's okay because we know that they're gonna look really good in the future Then we've got all this gold vine up the back that looks absolutely amazing in my opinion Like I absolutely love this stuff. You can get really good shapes of it and it does uh, Look really good in most aquascapes So when you first put this stuff in your aquarium, it'll get this kind of like fuzzy mold Bacteria stuff on it and that's okay I'm gonna get some plecos in here that are gonna smash that and eat that all up and then at the back I added some Java fern, this is really good uh, because it grows like really bushy like this aquarium over here <laughs> and it'll look really really good in this aquarium I think so to like when we do an aquascape there's your foreground plants, there's your midground and your background so for my background plants on this side of the aquarium I decided to grow a bunch of uh, jungle valve which is this long stringy plant if you guys haven't seen that before and this will grow like a big jungle over the top and it'll probably spread all its runners and roots along and I'll have to keep that uh, uh, as clean as possible but it does look really really good at the moment and then for my mid-ground plants I've got these Amazon swords, which are technically background plants, but almost mid-ground plants. So my technical mid-ground plants are these Crypt Wendy's. And these are like a, I think they're a bit darker. You can kind of see them here. They're a similar size to these Amazon swords, which I purchased, um, but they will stay about that size. And the Amazon swords will get big like these ones back here that I've uh, taken out of some other aquariums. So it's really exciting and then like I mean at the front for our foreground plants we also have some crypts. I can't remember the name of this right now but in a future video, video I will mention that. It's a really really cool plant. It's really bushy and I had it in my shrimp aquarium and I um, actually didn't have to buy many plants because I've used a lot of plants from other tanks to escape this aquarium which is really really cool. So we've obviously got a heater up the back and we've also got some sponge filters that are just keeping the water clean and trying to cycle this tank out. So. This is, as well, this isn't, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of this wood. Um, I, can't, I honestly can't remember it. I picked it up at my local fish shop and it does look really, really good. So for gravel as well, we've just got some riverbed, really fine gravel for the plants and fine enough that we can keep quarries with it. So the plants for this aquarium is to, currently we're gonna leave it empty for a week or two and then we're gonna move our angelfish that are currently in like a 20 gallon aquarium into that new 55 gallon aquarium because they're definitely outgrowing that tank. And I think this tank's gonna turn out really, really cool. I've got the lights on for about 10 hours a day at the moment to try and get as much plant growth as possible. And you know, it's looking really good. I'm really proud with it. So that's what's happening with this tank. Now I'm gonna show you the rest of the tanks and what's happening with them. So we've obviously got like, I mean, another 55 gallon down here and I'm not really sure what I wanna do with this at the moment. I might turn this into another planted aquarium or we'll keep it bare bottom. I think we're definitely gonna keep these two bare bottom for the moment and we're gonna use these as breeders for my future breeding projects, which you guys are gonna love. 
Um, I'm going to do those breeding projects similar to the Danio series where I'll make a bunch of update videos and then at the end of that I'll do a summary video and put it all in a playlist so you guys can watch that and learn as much as possible. Now moving on here, I've had this for as long as I've had the channel pretty much. This is my 20 gallon like double aquarium so these are 80 litres and if you're an Australian and by the way these are 220 litres if you're an Australian or from somewhere else that doesn't use the imperial system. But in here we've got the angels that are going to go in that 55 gallon. Now these guys look absolutely gorgeous. These are koi angels. I got these guys when they were really, really small and they've gotten really big over time. And I'm super impressed with the size they're putting on. Like, look at the, she's full as I just fed them. They're looking really good. I've also got this stray crib in here, which I'm probably going to sell at my next local auction. Um, but he's super big too and he's got some awesome colors if you guys want to see that. Try and get him, he's up the back there. But yeah, so this this aquarium is going to be used for another one of my breeding projects that I'm working on. Um, first, I've got to source the fish, and I've also got to make room in the rest of the fish room. But then down here is my next 8 litre aquarium, and this is going to be used again for another breeding project that I can't talk about. But this is the um, Crebensis tank at the moment, and these guys are breeding like crazy. And if you I uh, also want to see a bunch of baby fish. There are hundreds of these little bristlenose plecos everywhere in my tanks at the moment. Um, my adults have just started to lay eggs and breed really, really well. And there's just bristlenose pleco babies everywhere. Like all throughout this aquarium, there's um, bristlenoses. So yeah, these guys are doing really well. This is my big boy down here. He's been laying all the eggs. And yeah, this aquarium's doing really well as well. So moving on from like this main room where I keep all my fish at the moment, there's also the other room which I can take you guys to. And in this room, we've got all of the Danios and the Guppies as well. So the Danios are doing really well. Here are the Fry, and I haven't given you guys an update on these guys, but they are huge. Um, they've just started to develop color and they're looking really good. They're in these breeder boxes, which I have at the moment. And we've also got another batch over here, which is doing really well. I've been putting these guys up on my Instagram. And yeah, I mean, like, I'm super impressed with how they've turned out. They're super fat at the moment and they're full of food. And I can't wait to get them into a grow out tank. And then in this aquarium is uh, adult zebra danios. These are the long fin styles. I love the long fin styles. They look really cool. Um, they've got great color. The fins are turning out really well. And we've got a jungle of java moss in this aquarium. There is so much in here. Um, this is accumulations of java moss from all my other tanks that I've been dumping in here for the zebra danios when they lay their eggs. So they've been laying eggs and there's actually fry that are surviving, similar to when we have guppies. Um, not as many, but uh, they are doing really well. And then even more exciting, in this cave is another pair. I've got another pair of bristlenose. So here's the female. And the male is in that cave. You can see her, she's super big. Um, they've been laying eggs and there's a whole bunch of eggs in here that are gonna be coming out in a few days. And yeah, I'm gonna have so many bristlenose, it's not gonna be funny. So um, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do with them. We're definitely gonna have to sell them, but that's another thing that's been happening in this aquarium, a lot of zebra down here breeding. And then down here is my Endler Guppy Aquarium. You guys have seen this so many times. I've got these French Blue Star Endlers in here. And this tank definitely isn't doing as well as I want it to. I've got some Pleco Babies in here. And I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to rescape this aquarium. It's not turned out how I wanted it to. And yeah, it's definitely not doing as well. So a um, little bit disappointing. I've been having to medicate this aquarium heaps. These guys are struggling with worms at the moment. And yeah, it's like pretty sad, but uh, we're gonna have to fix that up in the future. So. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching it. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.